the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and amen. with your spirit my dear friends those who hear the word of god and obey it are blessed they are a blessing for others also do i hear the word of god do i obey it am i a blessing for others Dear brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery i confess and i thank god i thank you my brothers and sisters that i have really sinned in my thoughts and my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do to my fault to my fault to my most grievous fault Therefore I ask you to make your holy sin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord God May almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray Almighty ever living God who in the abundance of your kindness surpasses the merits and the desires of those who entreat you pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask Through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the prophet Joel The Lord says this Let the nations rouse themselves let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat for I am going to sit in judgment there on all the nations round Put the sickle in the harvest is ripe come and tread the wine press is full the vats are overflowing so great is their wickedness Host and host in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision sun and moon grow dark the stars lose their brilliance the Lord rose from Zion makes his voice heard from Jerusalem heaven and earth tremble but the Lord will be a shelter for his people a stronghold for the sons of Israel You will learn then that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion my holy mountain Jerusalem will be a holy place no alien will ever pass through it again When that day comes the mountains will run with a new wine and the hills flow with milk and all the river beds of Judea will run with water A fountain will spring from the house of the Lord to water the wadi of acacias egypt will become a desolation eden a desert waste on account of the violence done to the sons of judea whose innocent blood they shed in their country but judea will be inhabited forever jerusalem from age to age i will avenge the blood and let none go unpunished and the lord shall make his home in zion the word of the lord 
Rejoice, you just in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, and many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was speaking, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said, Happy the womb that bore you and the breast you sucked. But he replied, Still happier those who hear the word of God and keep it. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. All to Jesus I surrender All to Him I freely brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifice instituted by your command, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with beautiful service. Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with own heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebrations we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be cohesive to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we would dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who came to lead us into the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present, in the most holy sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive, you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you, as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you, Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, sweetie Lord. Good morning to you.